Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back to another late night pouring episode with me and HOA. Say hi, HOA. Hi, HOA. Uh, <laughs> Thank so... you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Save your Elvis impersonations for when we go to Vegas, baby. Um, I'm so excited to talk about PourCon Live, which is taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada this August 6th through 9th in 2023 and uh, it's going to be an amazing event. There's going to be 22 different artists there and a whole bunch of really, really cool speakers and uh, some awesome lunch and dinner events which are going to be a lot of fun and you get to meet all these wonderful people. Fiona is going to be there from Slovenia and Shelly Carruthers is coming and you know a whole bunch of really awesome people. Uh, I am super excited because I am teaching the split cup classes. One of the classes I'm teaching is a straight pour from up high split cup technique, the wispy bit technique that I love so much that was inspired by my dear friend Fiona and then I'm teaching the spiral ring pour which I'm really really happy about the spiral wandering ring and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing tonight and I have some wonderful colors to show you in just a second but first let me show you the canvas this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from artist loft I have taped the back and put my push pins in which I will show you and I have painted my sides and edges with my flow extender color. So there's the push pins and the tape. That's a 24 by 30. I'm gonna push that out of the way and I'm gonna show you these beautiful colors. The first one I'm using is Golden's Prussian Blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this color so much. I love how it dries, very deep and rich and so highly pigmented. It's just absolutely wonderful. This is Golden's Prussian Blue. And then we are using Pevio Studios Iridescent Blue Green, which I really like. I just found this tube in one of the bins the other day and I was like, oh, I love that I missed it. So this is really pretty. My pouring medium is kind of thick tonight. We are using um, Liquitex Extra Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol, which I got to tell you, as I use it more and more, I really like it. And then I did a pour the other day with the pouring medium and it felt so thin. So I'm really digging on the gel gloss and the pouring medium. Maybe we'll do a video on how I mix that up exactly. And um, maybe you guys will give it a try. Let me know what you think. It's just got a lot of body and it, it just moves so beautifully. And I love that thick velvety texture. So that's our iridescent blue green from Pebio. And then I'm using this little beauty. This is Deco Art's Extreme Sheen. Ex Extreme Sheen. <laughs> Extreme Sheen in Jadeite, which is a beautiful color. I love this light minty green, especially this one has this beautiful pearl shimmer to it. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So that's the Jadeite from Extreme Sheen Deco Art. And then HOA, just for you, your love, the 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's our Deco Art 24 karat gold is going to be very pretty with all of these colors. And then last but not least, I also have Deco Art Pearl, which is beautiful. Very, very nice. So we're going to be using this awesome 22 ounce split cup with my name on it from Tracy Reed and her wonderful husband. You can find their split cups at acrylicpouringtools.com. And uh, I love this. This is their split cup, five chamber split cup with a handle. And that's what we're gonna be layering right now. So one of the things I have found when I use the split cups is the two outer chambers seem to be more prominent. So I'm going to actually put the colors that I want on the outer chambers out here first. I want that blue green, the iridescent blue green, and I want that beautiful jadeite on the outer chambers. And then I want the Prussian in the center chamber because that's the same color as our base coat flow extender. So I'm gonna fill that one up first. And I really like doing this because this makes it seem like the other colors are really floating on top and it makes the background recede. It gives us a very 3D effect. I'm gonna put the iridescent blue green on this side. And we're gonna put the jadeite on the other side. I love this palette, it's so pretty. Very springtimey. Happy spring, you guys. I'm so happy that it's warm and it's not pouring rain anymore. It's just rained for so long here in Southern California, which is awesome, but I was a little tired of it. So some pearl 
in both of them. And I'm going to layer these together. I'm not going to do one white and one gold. I'm going to do them both mixed up because I really like the way that looks when it comes out. I'm going to kind of stagger them a little bit so they don't exactly match up. Doesn't matter about that little bit of pearl on top of the blue. It'll be okay. Okay. I'm excited about this one I tried. It's going to be so pretty. I was watching the uh, other one that I did, Rise Spirits Rising, which was that uh, beautiful indigo and the iridescent stainless steel and the sparkly violet color that we made. It was so cool watching it all stretch out when we tilted it. It was awesome. So go check that one out, Spirits Rising. I'll link it up here in the corner for you guys. All right. So um, the last pour that we did, the um, Fire Sky, that I did the flip cups into, I didn't use my base coat color to flip into. And a couple of you asked me why that was, why I used the gold instead. Um, the easiest answer to that is I didn't want to wash out my colors. So if you flip them into white, it's automatically going to take it down a shade or two and lighten everything, and that's not what I wanted. So I poured it into the, onto the gold to stretch it out, hopefully maybe give us some gold cells instead of the white, which would have washed it out. So to that end, Let's see, we're going to take a little bit, actually first, I'm going to put down some of my base coat. This is my Prussian blue also, but thinner than this. Oh, it still seems a bit thick, it's alright. So we're going to put down kind of a, a puddle in the middle that we're going to pour into. And then we're going to use the rest of that as flow extender. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stretch this out just a tiny bit. So we're going to start like over here each way and we're going to do a wandering spiral. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Yes, yeah. we pray. <laughs> here we go. lines there to work with that are very pretty. Okay. All right. This is looking pretty cool. I love that beautiful jadeite and I love the iridescent blue green and this part right here is so pretty. This is very much what I wanted. This is cool too, but I like the Prussian blue in there also. Let's torch this real quick. Just a little bit more. Some water. And this is the same pouring medium that I used for everything else. I just added more flow troll and more water to it. So now I've just thinned it out a little bit more.
All right. I think we're gonna go off that corner first and anchor it. This is gonna be really pretty. We're just gonna find the way to the paint and walk it down. Nice and gentle. Not too fast. We're gonna go off that corner. And we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna go down this way. You don't sound convinced. No, I do like it. <coughs> just, there's, I like. Mm, yeah. um, I'm getting like a pink color. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Which is that's what I was with because I've got blues and greens and white. So. Well, that white's got kind of a purple tinge to it. It's a pearl. Interesting. It'll probably end up drying. What, it's pearl what? Pearl white? Pearl white, yeah. It'll probably end up drying white. Then. This is really pretty. I really like this side a lot. I love that background. I like this. I don't know if I love this part. Yeah, I was kind of surprised you didn't. Well, I still have them. I, I think I might take some off of the bottom here and open up the top some more. Paint is still moving fast. I need to take some off. I'm go back this way just a little bit. I'm losing my pin here. Toa vibe from it. <laughs> I feel so shiny. <laughs> Some of those look like crab. Crab pinchers. I 
think that we are probably done. I really like this. It's really cool looking. I, it's very trippy to me that there's like a pink color in there, but I believe when you say it's from the pearl. Um, I like it a lot. It could also be the pearl white mixing with the Prussian blue. And the Prussian is throwing off some purple, but this is really pretty in here. I love this and I love these. I love this whole edge with the darker Prussian. It's really cool. So this is awesome. I'm happy. Um, I even like this part a lot too. So these wandering spiral pores, they're really fun. It creates a lot of these big, bold, geometric patterns that I really, really like a lot. I think it's very neat. It's subtle, but it's bold at the same time, which is kind of awesome. So I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Please make sure you check out the website for PoreCon Live. I will link it here for you. And uh, go check out our website. There is an early bird special until April 22nd. So if you get your tickets before then, you get a very significant discount. Make sure, however, you do put the early bird code in there when you're checking out. So, but yeah, so it's going to be awesome. We'll see you in Vegas, I hope, in August. Thanks for being here tonight. We'll be right back. I want to take a second and show you guys the completely dried results of the pour we did last time, which was Fire Sky. This was those flip cups with those beautiful southwestern sunset colors with that quinacridone burnt orange and that beautiful red gold from Atelier and the pearl yellow and the Naples yellow light. This came out so pretty and there's so much transparency. I really love this. Pretty day today. Not too warm yet. Sun's shining. I smell orange blossoms. <laughs> it's wonderful. So this was our fire sky. Okay, so this is the next day. It's not dry yet, but it is drying nicely. Uh, I am loving all of these lines. This is absolutely beautiful to me up here, especially you can see where it's drying along that top edge. This is going to be so pretty with that jadeite and the iridescent blue-green and the gold and that Prussian blue and that really pretty pearl. There's some gorgeous lines in here. You guys can see all of this wonderful transparency and the layering. Very cool stuff. Really neat. I think I actually like this side as the top. Have it be a vertical instead of horizontal. It turned out really, really cool, but I will definitely show you completely dry results in the next video. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a very happy springtime. Bye-bye.